Hiya, my internet's down, and I'm cripplingly bored. Over the course of learning how to play Song of Sykes, I have attempted to optimize farmland output. Uh, and you can see the result here. This is the pretty version. And I will show the baseline fertility uh, of this area in a second. This fertility is 92%. It, uh, it looks rather nice, the pattern. It's optimized to its uh, maximum size up to one square. You can see here, you can add one more square, but then the shape doesn't look right. So we're going to leave the square off. I'm going to get out of there. And if we fast forward time, it has a average output of uh, 89 fruit. There is um, my game right now. I don't think I have any bonuses stacked on this um, uh, on this farm. This is not the this is not the only design. This is the, the the maximized version here, and I think it looks the prettiest. I think it looks like a bullseye or something like that. I have two other designs. This version may look identical, but the uh, the first moats here are three in instead of two in set off from the the border and that gives us one more fertility point of 93. Uh, this uh, how much is producing right now is not accurate because um, I completed this in the wrong season. This is the final less pretty design. It's just rows. This also has a 93% fertility rate and it's uh, much more easier to lay out because you just have to put the pieces in. Now I have it so that it looks um, realistic and down here the moat or canals come off to a point and then that point can be dragged off to the a river or something so uh, to make as to make it look realistic. I like making things look realistic so that's why I put that design in. But if you remove these little sidebars, you can optimize the uh, overall coverage a tiny bit more by putting these uh, over the, the sides over here. Now, this is the key to how this works. If you have um, a row of one canal, we'll look at the overlay here. If you have one canal, uh, your, your, your bonuses aren't stacked as high. Whereas you, if you have three together, you can see that it um, increases the fertility quite a bit more. So the baseline fertility over here is 46%. It's being bumped up to 93%. But over here, the baseline is 40% and it's only being stacked up to 73%. Pretty much the maximum distance that you're going to get the best the best boost out of fertility is only two squares. So you see this square goes up to, actually we'll, we'll go to over here where the fertility is just naturally less. So we have the baseline fertility of 46% here, um, boosted up to 93%, then the next square is 90%. It's about the same baseline, which is 46. And this is also 46, but we drop right off to 86% fertility right in the center. Now, you can, of course, optimize this uh, even more for fertility, but this is the maximum size that these farms can be. They're limited to being 55 squares long. See, if I go to 56 squares long, um, it will have a red outline and it won't actually put down the, the field, the room, whatever you want to call it. So this is... 55 by 55, which is the maximum. And you can only have 55 squared as the number of tiles, and I can't think of that in my head right now, so who the hell cares? So you take you take up that space with the, um, the canals, which allows you to maximize the number of squares that you put in into your field and um, the maximize the, the fertility here. It does not, however, work with ranches. Here's a ranch here, and the maximum number of animals is 33, despite having very high fertility. So the ranches seem to only take uh, into account baseline fertility. 
So if I come here, you can see that the baseline fertility of this square is 40%, um, and the boosted fertility is 70%, but we're only getting 33 animals. If I go over here, which is um, another cow thing ranch, which is on much more fertile ground, uh, we can see that we're getting 66. We're getting twice the number of cow thingy doodad alien things as we are um, over here, despite this being uh, extremely fertile. And you have to remember that this is before any bonuses that you get from the game. I may have a bit of a bonus because I have a lot of fields here, so I think it's 10% uh, or something like that to the, um, and the, to the crop yield. But no science. There's no science right now. And this uh, drastically increases the amount of fruit produced. Let's fast forward to get this number up again. So just optimizing with the canals, we have an output of uh, 89.25. Now we'll go back and do the exact same thing, but we will remove the canals first. And here we have the base rate. The fertility is actually falling because it's becoming less fertile now that we've removed the canals. And it's just dropping like a stone. We're at uh, 71.3, continuing to go. Fertility rate, 73. Um, let's just wait a few seconds as this craters. Unfortunately, well, we've hit an event here. There's a drought that's starting up, so we'll pause the game right here. Now, this can continue, this will continue down to a base rate of, uh, I think, 53% uh, baseline fertility. Uh, I can actually measure that with the drag tool here. And you can see baseline fertility is 53%. So uh, we can expect maybe 54, 51, something around there, 50 uh, for the producing. So just by adding the canals, we have doubled our production. I'm actually going to let this uh, continue until the next season just so that we can fully stabilize. You can also see what the baseline uh, fertility of this, of this area is here. It's um, not completely zero. There are some slightly higher fertility sections in there. It's not like we have uh, plopped it down over here or I'm not sure if you can actually use it underneath a, uh, um, a mountain but like over here where we have some zero patches or some close to zero patches over here um, it will help immensely on these dried out sections but let's fast forward until for a couple years uh, and we'll flatten out this curve here or I could just load a game that uh, the drought, uh, lowest save that the drought wasn't occurring in. Um, the skill rate might be a little different. I, I'm pretty sure it's close. So we see that we only have a production value of 52.7. So that's a significant boost without any research, uh, without any um, bonuses. Um, there's only a few fields here. Uh, there's one field missing in this save, but uh, that shouldn't affect the uh, the bonuses too too much it might add another 10 percent onto this number but 52.7 uh, percent compared to 89.25 that's a significant increase with and it's the same skill that's uh, one uh, 151 percent and that's a significant in increase and all you have to do is uh, make these canals now there are some pitfalls, there are some problems with this, and I don't know if it's intentionally coded this way or if this is a bug um, in, the, in the game. But if you are constantly building and deleting, building and deleting canals, eventually you'll get a message saying that the water table is too low. And even if you delete all the canals off of your map, it'll it'll continue to say that the water uh, table is too low. It's possible that you're only allowed to have a certain number of canals on the tile, and it's just not 
deleting the indexes properly when you um, when you destroy a canal so you eventually get up to a very large number in the saved game in the background. Um, saving and reloading doesn't fix it. It's actually saved in the save file. I haven't looked to see if you could edit that out or anything. I haven't looked under the cover uh, whatsoever. So if you are going to use uh, canals, you want to decide on your pattern first. Save the game, decide on your pattern, then save the pattern and put it on the, um, on the field that you want. I like this pattern because it looks pretty. When you, when you go at a distance, it's, uh, it's not a complete eyesore. It also establishes a, um, a maximum size for your buildings and everything, which is 55 by 55. Now, uh, that maximum size probably carries over to the uh, workshops. The workshops are probably 55 by 55 as well, plus your uh, wall, which is 56 by 56. Um, so if you are, if you're limited to the 55 by 55 squares, you could probably work out a very uh, industrialized section. Now, just to uh, put a finer point on this, uh, to more completely define how to build this, you have two edges, two um, tiles from your road or your edge or whatever, then three tiles of canal, then four tiles of farmland, and then go right into the center, like that. And you don't need to have, again, you don't need to have these, um, these crosshairs here. The only reason I have the crosshairs is to make it look realistic, and then I can like um, put the canal off down to that water source down there to make it look realistic. And I like making things looking realistic. If you don't do that, you can actually remove these and then again go four in and then try to set up a little bit more of a uh, canal system in the center and that will boost your um, your fertility up just a tiny bit more. Again, this one I like better just because everything lines up nicely. If we move um, these borders in to three from the side of your of your field, um, you'll get slightly higher fertility rate, but then you'll have to reorganize a lot of these, um, the pattern, and you'll be left with, with uneven squares and it won't look as pretty. But if all you want to do is optimize, um, you can do that. These squares on the side here are also not strictly necessary, but you do have to have everything connected. So um, you can't cut off one side of the field from the other side of the field. So if we were to like uh, put this canal all the way up to the top here, this side of the field and this side of the field will not be linked together. And <clears throat> I think I read somewhere that it doesn't matter um, how many pieces you you cut your 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 rooms up in so if we were to make four fields out of here and have just have this as, as the center point it does not add up to uh, 89.25 okay so the larger the field is um, the more efficiency you have in comparison to the number of uh, employees and your production the production i think was a tiny bit lower. It, it was either it was either a few percentage points higher or a few percentage points lower. So there is a difference. But the biggest difference was in the number of employees needed to drive the field. It was it was higher if we split the fields up. Now if we don't have any roads between them and we use the the three uh, the four yeah, the three from the from the side here and then we stack them right next to each other, we can increase fertility uh, even more because there'll be more canals in the general vicinity. So anyone doing the math, that is about a 42% increase in production 
just by using canals. Canals don't cost you anything except for time to dig it up, and that is a significant increase in your output. If you're min-maxing your fields and you have, you know, a hundred of them on your, well, not a hundred of them, but dozens of them on your map, and they all have canals in them, your output will be greatly uh, increased, and the bonuses that you get stack on top of that, because I believe fertility is the um, the lowest um, stat on your farm. So fertility is applied first, then skill is applied on top of that, and then multiplier bonuses are applied on top of that. So you can min-max uh, these things quite um, extremely. Fuck, who knows? Language is confusing. Uh, as I said, I, have, I might have a bit of aphasia. But I don't know if it's intentional or not. It may be intentional. Uh, okay, I don't have enough employees for this, but whatever. Um, it does not work for ranches. So the ranches can be, you can put uh, canals right along the outside. It doesn't affect anything. It doesn't seem like shape affects how many uh, animals you have on the farm either it's just raw size that's it and that's a little that's a little bit disappointing because fertility does matter uh in these in these ranches uh the lower your baseline fertility is the least the the less um, animals you can actually raise which means you should probably save your fertile fields for ranches and not food and not crops crops um you can boost it up here's um here's a, an example here that i tried to use canals to boost up the productivity of a woodcutter's lot doesn't affect the woodcutter's lot at all and, it, and this woodcutter's lot is also 55 by 55 and then there's just the spaces that uh, the spaces that couldn't be occupied because we, you don't have you know the square number that you need um, I just put holes in it and filled up with uh, uh, with canals to see what would happen. And this also shows, let's pause the game, this also shows the difference between the sizes. So we have a two wide canal here and uh, we're not getting as much of a baseline increase as this three by three here, which is pumping it up uh, quite a bit. Like this right here is 100%. Although that could also be a bright patch of fertility right here. If we go over here, this might be a little better. Uh, this one's 100% too. So uh, the the um, the canals are quite powerful if you stack them, and everything can fit in the uh, the 55 by 55 square. You just have to get some creative hole holing done, and you could put uh, like speakers here and and things like that. You can put like your your other accoutrement and stuff them in these holes in places just to uh, you know give areas for people to go and and uh, optimize your everything this includes the fields if you didn't want to use canals but just just look at that base level if I, if I put it out here in the middle of nowhere that'd be great the number of canals are probably not unlimited again I haven't tested that yet use it your own risk And obviously I don't know how to end a fucking video.